Hey. Hi. Welcome to my build guide for Toma, the Kamisato clan housekeeper. This guide is for C0, but generally applies to higher constellations. Let's talk to him for a bit, shall we? Hey, Otoma. I want to have a conversation about how we can make you stronger. Does that sound good? Mm hmm. A conversation? Mm hmm. I see, I see. That's a little different from what I'm used to, but I'm all for it. All right. Let's get to it. For artifacts, there are a couple of ways you can go. Toma really shines as a shield support. Not so much as a main or a sub DPS in my opinion, but I built him focusing on that. Basically making him a budget Walmart brand Zhongli. With his shields scaling off of his max HP, you'll want to use all main stat HP percent artifacts. So your sands, your goblet, and your circlet, all HP percent. You'll also want flat HP subs on everything. You want HP percent substats on your feather and on your flower. And you want as much energy recharge as possible. His burst costs 80 energy, which is pretty hefty. So you want around a 200% energy recharge on him to be comfortable. In my opinion. This is why I've built Tenacity of the Millilith and Emblem of Severed Fate double two-piece. Alternatively, you could go four-piece Noblesse Oblige. If you can sacrifice that 20% energy recharge that you get from Emblem of Severed Fate. Also assuming you're not running a four-piece Noblesse user on the team that you're going to be putting him on. Um, the extra 20% attack buff after burst is really nice with him, but with the artifacts that I have available, I couldn't squeak out the extra energy recharge to be comfortable on Noblesse. You could swap out your HP% percent Sands for an energy recharge Sands, if that's what you chose to do. Your shield will be a little bit weaker, but it can make up for that if you want to tweak that out and run 4-piece Noblesse. 4-piece Noblesse is probably your best bet, but 2-piece Tenacity and 2-piece Emblem is what I was available to work with. And it still works really well in my opinion, I'm just missing out on that extra 20% attack buff. So, considering that... Um, definitely go for Noblesse if you can, and if you can't, then go for Tenacity and Emblem. Really? This will make me stronger? Mm -hmm. You better not be kidding. I have stacks of laundry to do. Yes, this will definitely make you stronger without a doubt, Toma. Now, on to the weapons! For weapons. Since we are using a non-offensive build here for Toma, we've got a couple of choices. Main choice, Favonius Lance. Easy, solid pick, energy recharge, crits have a chance to get elemental particles back. Easily the best choice, without a doubt, in my, in my opinion. Um, your other options to consider would be the catch, which also has energy recharge and boosts your elemental burst damage and your elemental burst crit rate. However, the catch is really better served on somebody like Shangling or Raiden Shogun. Uh, I, I think, I don't think Toma can really utilize its power properly. Definitely not in a shield build. If you were building him more offensively, with like a four-piece Crimson Witch or four-piece Emblem. Maybe. Maybe. But as it stands, Favonius Lance is the way to go. Option number three, you could use the Black Tassel. It gives extra HP, which would make your shields extra beefy, but you're going to have a harder time hitting that 200% energy recharge mark with the black tassel. 
black tassel is your that's your bottom tier option it's acceptable but it's not ideal for meme options you could go staff of homa aka staff of toma or engulfing lightning However, if you've got either of those weapons, I assume that you pulled them for the characters they were intended for. Wu Tao, Raiden Shogun, Zhongli, maybe even Zhao. Certainly not your four-star shield boy. If you want to give him any of those any of those weapons, then I mean go for it. If you think that'll be fun, I'm not here to stop you. But they're better suited on other characters, in my opinion. So, that's the verdict on the weapons. Now, let's get to talents. For talents, ignore normal attack altogether. You don't need it. You're not normal attacking with him on a shield build. You want to level your Blazing Blessing and your Crimson U Uyori? The, the Burst and the Elemental Skill. All right. One important thing to note with Toma, whenever you are using him and you are prepping your shields for whoever you're going to be using on the field, you want to switch off the Toma, you want to pop the elemental skill, then you want to pop the burst because the elemental skill, look at that shield damage absorption, 11.5% max HP plus 1300 and then the max shield damage absorption, you've got 31.4% max HP plus 3,500, right? You've got an eight second duration on this. Now for the ultimate, for the burst, that shield damage absorption is 1.8% max HP plus 206 with an eight second duration. Now, the point of this, the point of this particular rotation is because the burst fortifies your elemental skills shield. Whenever your current active character obtains or refreshes a blazing barrier, this character's shield strength will increase by 5% for 6 seconds. That's one thing there. The other thing is... Where is it at? When a new blazing barrier is obtained, the remaining damage absorption of an existing blazing barrier will stack and its duration will be refreshed. So, you're using your skill to get that beefy base shield. Then you're popping the burst to extend the duration and to keep adding on to its damage, damage absorption. That's the way that you want to go with that. If you do that, you'll be good to go with him. <sighs> I have all of this power, but how should I use it? I need to give this one some serious thought. I can tell you how to use it, Toma. I'm going to give you some team comps that I can suggest right now. Anyway, so, Toma's teams. Your best bet, put him with Hu Tao. She needs the extra protection, and the Pyro Resonance is great on her. That extra damage, beautiful. A lot of people think that he's going to work well with Tartalia. The Tartalia interaction is a little awkward because of the internal cooldown on Toma's elemental burst. You're not proccing your pyro status as much as you would like compared to, say, for example, Shangling, who is a better teammate for Tartalia, in my opinion. They play pretty well together. They're fun. If you want to do it, go for it. It's not necessarily optimal compared to Shangling, but there's nothing wrong with putting them together and it'll work out fine. It's not a big deal. Now, mentioning that internal cooldown on his burst, this is why you're not going to want to put him in a lot of teams that focus on elemental reactions so like your vaporize your um your vaporize your melt your uh, overloaded you're not really going to want to do that because his damage output is so low and the fact that his internal cooldown is not great compared to other units 
you really the Hu Tao team is really your best bet or put him in teams that don't focus on elemental reactions for damage take a Geo team for example you got Noel, you got Ning Wong you got Xinyan for your sub DPS you've got Toma for shielding and throwing in a little bit of damage with the fiery collapse plus your pyro resonance you're good to go Physical teams also work out okay with Toma. If you need a shielder, he's there. So, I would say stick him either in a Hu Tao comp, a Geo comp, or a physical team. These are your best options. You can play them however you want them, but those are my recommendations. So, Toma, how do you feel about these, uh, these potential teammates? <laughs> Just imagining it is already brightening my day. All right, cool. Well, there you have it. Tola approves, so take that for what you will. So, Toma, how are you feeling about all this? It feels like a fire inside of me has just begun to burn. Is that a pun? You should stick to your day job, man. But anyway, there you have it. This has been the all killer, no filler guide to getting your Toma combat ready. I'm pretty confident if you follow these tips, it'll perform well for you. Don't you agree, Toma? Based on everyone's reactions, yeah, I think I do a pretty good job. I think so too, man. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. There'll be more Genshin Impact character guides coming later, along with some other stuff. So, there is that. So with that being said, until next time, bye bye